Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I release a legacy video every Friday. Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another legacy video, back playing Doomsday. So right now we're in this topsy-turvy, lame duck bullshit format where um, we probably all more or less expect things to get banned out of legacy because Wizards of the Coast have all but told us that they will uh, come August. But until then, we're stuck here, and that has gotten me a little bit sort of cooled on the format. But then again, Doomsday, Doomsday is always fun. Let's go play some Doomsday. So right now, I am uh, I am just trying stuff out. Um, really wanted to try out like uh, Barrow Goyf. Oh, the picture's not updated yet. Yeah, uh, but but Barrow Goyf is. Um, this really sweet creature. We can still read it. So it, it's um, it's a dark ritual creature, by the way. So it's it's a uh, black two. It has death touch and lifelink, and it has toughness one and power is star. And uh, uh, Barrow Goyce's power is equal to the number of card types among cards in all graveyards, and its toughness is equal to that number plus one. So it's it's Tarmogoyf for black two instead of green one. But then it also has Death Touch and Lifelink, which is pretty, pretty, pretty meaningful. Uh, basically, like, Lifelink is, is king in Doomsday. Uh, for, I want to say, obvious reasons. Um, the, you know, life total is always something we're, we're tr battling with, um, especially against certain uh, deck types. And we will, we, will win we will win eventually if we just have enough life total to play with and, and can pro protract the game long enough. So that's cool. And then it has this triggered ability that when it when it deals combat damage to a player, you may mill that many cards. And then if you do, you may put a creature card from among the cards milled into your hand. So unfortunately, this doesn't just regrow a creature that's already in, in your graveyard. It has to be milled over in, in by the trigger. So in in like the, the very few games I've tried, this has not been very like I, I've not hit yet. I've had like two triggers, I think. Um but it also depends on how many creatures we're playing. And we're playing um, the two main deck frogs and then two more in the sideboard. And then I have two Shouldreds, uh, the two Barrow Goyves, and one Harvester of Misery. I don't really know what the format is sort of... I'm not super keyed in right now, which is a problem with Doomsday because like this, this sideboard was... I have the, the Harvester of Misery to beat Doorkeeper Thrall, and I have... Both Seju who endures and a tropical island to beat dress down out of like uh, Teferi decks or just like whatever Bant decks, and I don't really know what those decks are doing. I played a league a couple of days ago and I played against this Jeskai opponent who were who was playing like this energy card that um, that nuked for three, which was uh, a bit of a, a surprise. But yeah, I think um, I, I'm keeping one main deck copy of Stifle because. I do like that you have that option. It might end up being cut at some point. Uh, I don't know if it's good enough. Also, by the way, if you hear birds chirping, it's because I am recording this from my porch in our little summer uh, getaway home that we have. It's uh, currently summer vacation here in Denmark, and I am uh, spending some time out in the sun, which we aren't getting much of. There's a lot of rain, not that much sun, so... But yeah, other than that, no personal tutor, but three copies of the One Ring and like two uh, Cabal Rituals. So really trying to go heavy on, trying to power out a combo piece early on. But yeah, let's see how we go. Let's go play a league. Okay, on the draw for round number one, I get a pretty exciting looking hand. Opponent Mulligan's to six. Hope I'm not getting a lock piece uh, thrown in my face on turn one. That's Or like, I guess, a glass combo, but... But yeah, mostly afraid of like, uh, I don't know, like a Blood Moon or like even a Chalice of the Void would be somewhat problematic. Opponent going down to five. Chalice would, like, if nothing else nasty happened, ooh, down to four. Makes me think it's probably Turbo Necro. <laughs> uh, I don't know if people are still playing that, that deck. Four cards, huh? Well, I mean, if it is a turn one combo deck and they are able to cobble together, like... A Turbo Necro certainly just needs like a Vault of Whispers, a Dark Ritual, and a, a Necrodominance. So they can go down to three even. 
uh, we have no interaction here. Okay, so they stopped at four. Earth is Saga. Okay, so this could be um, could be like Saga Storm. Oh, could could be like uh, eight cast. Okay, let's uh, let's pass here, expecting them to have like Ancient Tomb or something. Mm, they're targeting me. Okay, they drew their card. Saga ticks up, and do you have a soul land? No, you have a lotus petal. Okay. This could still be like 8 cast or some kind of like combo deck, like Storm, Saga Storm. Fixing Bobble. Sure. Makes me think it. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I've seen this. And then they can start like playing uh, zero, zero cost artifacts which then get countered and then they draw so it's sort of like a like glimpse of nature uh but only as an enchantment sure not doing anything else i'm gonna kind of assume this deck doesn't play wasteland and not fetch around it and i'm gonna just consider here end of turn <clears throat> and then i guess play my frog i am a little bit worried about getting like comboed out but they have like one card in hand right now so hopefully we can maneuver that but the bobble is tricky it means like all of our forces are well i'll keep this doomsday if i get a dark ritual now i can just well i can't go i can't win because they have the bobble so i can't play that like pedal and led and stuff um okay i think i don't know do I brainstorm here looking for the Dark Ritual? And then, like, cast Doomsday Pass and then just win on the subsequent turn? Or do I play for a little bit of a longer game with the Frog? I think I go for the... Oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I, like, I can't hit, say, Petal Petal or Petal Cabal Ritual here. So I have to hit, like, one of my four uh, Dark Rituals. And in the top three cards, I guess there is a little bit less than 25% for, for there to be one Dark Ritual in there. So I think maybe I just play the Frog. The Consider should tell them we're on Doomsday, but other than that, we could also just be like some Demir deck that just plays a bad cantrip. I saw Marcus Eva uh, posting a screenshot of, of this uh, deck playing this, this card here. Let's see, if they have Pithing Needle, they can name the frog, which is a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, at least frog is then just at least a like drawing card. Okay, never mind. They have another Saga. They found LED. They have a Mana Floating. Are we going to do anything exciting? They could Echo here. Or they could pass. I don't know if their life total is a thing. Okay, I'm going to start off with a Brainstorm here. Ooh. Okay. Mm. All right, so what we could do is, like, double Dark Ritual. No, it doesn't really change anything. I was going to say, like, we could somehow end up with a Daze that we could somehow, like, cast next turn. Mm. Stupid Vexing Bobble. Um, how about this? We... So we Dark Ritual, and then we cast Doomsday, then we Frog, Attack, draw a card, then, no, I was going to say we could like draw the One Ring, but we're sort of a mana short. Well, let's put back one of the Doomsdays and then one of these Brainstorms. Um, I don't think it'll really matter about, like, casting Doomsday now. We can also just cast Doomsday next turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fetch, I don't know, maybe I can, like, hit a, my, my Thoughtseize or a Stifle. Let's draw a card. It's LED. Nice and useless. 
Alright, I'm going to brainstorm now looking for the Thoughtseize. I don't find it. Lame-o. Okay. Well, we have, they have one turn now. One turn to, uh, to just, uh, get their groove on. And if not, we should win. They're so low on resources, I'm kind of hoping... Gamble, oh no. Yeah, okay. I mean, so they can gamble for Echo. And they get to draw seven, and then... Um, like, they hope to, to draw, like, a lot of... <sighs> yep. Oh no, what am I doing? I should have discarded all my cards to the frog. Ah, oh, that was so lame. Okay, well, we shall see. I think I'm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just going to start drawing a lot of cards, but also, like, each card right now just gets replaced in their hand. So I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming they win through, a, like, a storm engine, a storm card. Uh, wait, why was there only one Mutani's presence trigger? Oh, there were, there were two. I don't know, I just only saw one. Yeah, I'm guessing they have to, like, win with a Storm card. Oh, that was a, just a big punt, right? I should have discarded all my cards to uh, to the Frog. Okay, here's Chrome Mox. Gets countered, they draw a card. How are they getting the mana to... I guess eventually they will just, like, pop their bobble. Um, and then, like, play LEDs and then, I don't know, Burning Wish or something? Anyways, I'm not, um, I'm yielding to the draw card trigger, I'm not yielding to anything else here. So I, I have the choice to, like, if they pop their bobble, I can, my daze is live. And also I can, like, cycle Street Wraith and cast Brainstorm and hope to hit Force. Okay, here's LED, it gets countered. Another bobble, sure. Exiling a spirit guide to what draw card? Sure. So I mean they're kind of I, I I'm kind of struggling to see uh, how this deck works and they just end up passing. Okay. I guess I just win. Hooray. Um. Okay. I'm finally allowed to fetch. Let's cast a cabal red. Oops. And we cast Doomsday, which just instantly resolves. So let's just add a couple of cyclers. And I'll add like a Force of Will underneath the Thassa, just in case they, um, just in case it becomes relevant. I'm gonna put the last Thassa, the second Thassa underneath the Force. So we'll attack with the frog, and that will draw us Edge of Autumn. Then we will cycle Edge into Street Wraith, Street Wraith into Thassa, and then we have the Street Wraith in our hand to cycle into the Force. If somehow they remove the, the frog, then we still get to deploy Thassa. So Thassa on the bottom, Force of Will on top, and then Thassa again, and the two cyclers. All right, here comes the frog. Ribbit. Frog attacks. Frog connects, Frog draws a Cycler, second main, gonna cycle, I guess I could have kept the land and just cycled Street Wraiths here. Uh, yeah, we can just leave, leave the last two cards. Okay, so that was game one, they mulligan to four, but then like somehow kind of got to combo anyways, and almost they could have beaten us like i said I'm, I'm a little bit struggling to see like if you get two of these pres mutani's presence then i i can see where the fun how the fun would sort of begin um but kind of like with the old cheerios deck yeah i don't know i can see graph digger's cage doing something versus echo but i don't know how central of a plan echo is I can pretty obviously see where Force of Negations would be good. Shildred is also, I think, very good. So the question is if I want both of these Graftier's Cages. I think Frog can can leave. 
Um, I think one Thassa can leave. Stifle tell something tells me the Stifle is not not the worst card. I'll cut one of the Cyclers. Um, maybe cut one like one of the One Rings. Now there we're bringing in two Shouldreds. That's sort of to kind of occupy the same space. And then maybe only one one Graft Digger's Cage. Maybe like this. Yeah, oh, 61 cards. It's no, no bueno. I think I'll cut the Cavern of Souls. Yeah. Let's try it like that. Maybe I'm suppo supposed to cut, um, like, Dazes or, and or, like, Lionside Diamond slash Ellie, uh, sorry, Lotus Petal, because they are a Vexing Bobble deck. Uh, I get a hand that promises much but has nothing. I think I have to mulligan this against the glass cannon deck that kept seven. Yeah, I'll keep this. Keep this bottom. I think I'd rather. I'm gonna bottom Doomsday actually. I think I would rather just resolve Shouldred than than Doomsday. I know like we're not really doing that anytime soon, but like for casting Doomsday and passing is not doesn't seem that appealing to me. Okay, let's see if they have a bobble here, and if they do, they have presence. I think I... I don't know. Do I snap this? Then they can just go LED Echo. Hmm. I think I do force this. This seems like one of their combo engines. Hope they don't go LED Echo, but if they do, so be it. There's Ancient Tomb. I guess the Mutani thing isn't really, like, doesn't really work without the the Vexing Bauble. Dark Ritual? Okay. Um, in spite of finding a second, like, a second force here and Ponder being my only blue card, I am going to go Pondering because I need to hit mana to resolve this Shouldered, which I think will be a, a pivotal piece. And this was excellent. I'm going to stack them like this. And hope that Shouldred is just going to be lights out for this deck. They can bobble me and see a Dark Ritual. Alright, they're just passing. Second Ancient Tomb. Let's see what you think about Shouldred the Apocalypse. Pass. Those two Ancient Tombs are gonna draw some blood here. And the next card is a Scalding Tarn that can get under city Sewers. I have a feeling we might just, just get a concession before my next turn. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Um, well, I mean, it's nice to be able to police those sorts of decks. Um, I really, I don't know if this Mutani's Presence Vexing Wobble combo is real, quote-unquote real. I, I somewhat doubt it, but we shall see. All right, off to winning start. Let's uh, jump into round number two. Okay, on the draw once more with a turn two Doomsday with Day's backup. I'm going to keep this. Opponent also kept seven. Let's see what we're up against. Hopefully not a Blood Moon. There are more Blood Moons now than there were a couple of weeks ago, I think. Oh, okay, it's a Delver strategy. Cool, cool, cool. So right now I can choose between like playing into Wasteland, but being able to go for the early doomsday I could also try and resolve a frog right now with my pedal how about that I actually don't hate that might be like way aggressive here if they have days and a force then that's like really really bad for me but um, if they don't like if they have force here then that's pretty exciting because we get to daze it oh they had a daze bummer you also have the force. If they have the force here, I'm just kind of blown in back into the Stone Age. Okay, Frog is in. And um, Frog kind of just stonewalls Delver. And then just also is a threat on the offense. Delver doesn't flip. Lucky for us. Not sure what I think about this new like the graphic they've added. If you can see on the Psychic Frog right now, because it's summoning sick, it has these concentric circle 
like waves moving out from the center of it. It used to be like a spiral graphic thing. <sighs> okay. If they're if they're up to up to snuff here with Legacy, they'll know what I'm playing because the the pedal plus, plus frog kind of gives it away. Okay, second Delver. I think I might just have to like hold this back on defense, and I think eventually they they will be able to overwhelm me with um with stuff like uh, like a Merc Tide. But until then, let's uh, let's just go pondering here. The second pedal I don't hate. Ooh, be still my beating heart. <laughs> These are some pretty amazing cards. Um, I think I actually want to just draw two cards here. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's draw both of these rituals. We have to give this flying to ensure it connects, and it could mean we end up like getting hit big time next turn for six if the delvers flip. But then we have just some very fun things to to do. Um, we could also attack and not give it flying and offer up like. They would be crazy to get in front of it with two Delvers. Uh, because then I just discard one card and I kill both of their Delvers. If they get in front of it with one, then they lose their Delver for sure. So either way, it's card advantage. I think I'm actually going to offer them the trade. Not the trade, the chump. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of want the second card down, though. But let's see here. No, they're not taking it anyways. And I'm not going to play out the pedal in case they're playing something like Molten Collapse. I guess Molten Collapse kills. Does that kill, like, deal damage to a creature here? Okay, never mind. Okay, so they were off. Uh, they're off to the races here. They're going to flip both their Delvers. I'm, I, oh, no, they're not. Wow, they just concede. It's insane. Did they really not have, like, were they not able to flip here? Or was the power of the frog just that intense? Crazy. Okay, so there's something I wanted to touch on in the deck deck, but I forgot, which is that I think right now the way you can approach building Doomsday in regards to how it lines up against Delver tempo decks or Scam is you can either do what I've done and be like creature heavy in the sideboard and with a little bit of a splash in the main deck, or you could be like a um, like like a vexing bobble deck. You could you could use vexing bobble kind of like a one mana defense grid, and then try. And maybe you can do both. Maybe that 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 can that that's also possible. Um, but I'm not playing vexing bobble here. Let's see. So. We want the two extra frogs, we want the shouldreds, we want the barrel goys. Probably want harvester just because it's like a removal spell. And it can like if this is Grixis Delver, which I think that is what people are playing right now, they they're gonna have frogs. And Harvester of Misery kind of for two mana acts as a like two card swing in in the in the frog card economy, like where they have a frog, you have a frog. It's about how many cards you ha each have in hand. And if you have the same number of cards and you like you bash into theirs, they can block and you can both discard everything. And then this can be like a, a mirror breaker there. So I don't hate that. Do I have enough to like board out all my Doomsday stuff? Probably not. Okay, so let's board out the Doomsday and the Street Wraiths and the Edge of Autumn, and the Thassa's Oracles, and the LED. And that's kind of rough, but in place of that, we can we can board in, like, I don't know, Force of Negation is very loose, but if we do end up being, like, the, kind of a control deck here, I don't guess I don't hate that. Um, maybe... Fuck it, like maybe one Doomsday, one Thassa's Oracle. Then cut the Force of Negation anyways. Where was it? There we go. Yeah, I think I like that. 
Okay, um, I am actually going to keep this hand. Might seem crazy, but I think Barrel Goyf is going to be really hard for them to deal with, and um, we can power it out on turn two with the Day's backup, which is kind of interesting. And also just having lots of lands versus them is not bad. The way the game one like uh, played out, I almost can now kind of regret boarding out all the Doomsday stuff, because I'm not sure how much they even think I'm on Doomsday, and... Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, they have a DRC turn one. Do they have the Do they have the bobble? They do. That's good stuff. And now there's a creature in the graveyard, so Goyf is already a, a two three, and it's now a three four. That's nice. And they targeted me. I'm assuming. Yeah, they don't have fetch land, so they know this card I'm drawing what it is. Let's see. Oh, it's the one ring. Nice. Okay, I'm going to uh, just pass, I think. And then we can surveil, unless they play out a wasteland, of course. They ponder and put brainstorm there. Yep. They have a 3-3. Three, three. We have a 5-6 a now. And they shuffle their library, and so far have not made a land drop, so that's really interesting. And they're actually passing. Okay, so their hand is all spells. So I'm a little bit concerned over running Bar Barrow Goyf. Because I think Bar like resolving Barrow Goyf right now, I think, almost ends the game. There's a pedal. That's big. Okay, I, now I'm, I'm going to keep that. And now we can. they would have to have two Force of Wills. Okay, drawing the second pedal there, pretty big. So they would need to have double force of will here, which I guess I hope they don't have. And I could also just try for the ring, but I think the way the board is is um, is looking right now, I don't know. Like they can't even hold uh, Darcy back to like block plus bolt, so which is something that could potentially be a problem here. If they have Force of Will, you'd imagine they have to use it. And it might be they just, they're just they just sitting on Force of Negation. Could be they also, if they have a Daze but nothing else, they want a Daze anyways just to get the selection and then make me use my pedal. Okay, wow. This just, it's just in play. Sweet deal. 5-6 Lifelink. Yes, please. And Death Touch, I guess. So let's see what they do. Looks like they are just going into combat. Darcy has to attack. And do you have a removal spell? That's what I want to know. On Holy Heat. This deals 6 damage. Oh, bummer. Okay, I'm going to let them uh, do the thing here. And then I'm going to daze and hope they only have like a force of negation. Wow, okay. That just, I kind of expected expected force of will there. Third underground C, not really what the doctor ordered. I think I'm going to, I am going to accept the mill here. Let's see, I guess we can ju just like think it through. So we have one more barrel goif, two more um, shieldred, and four frogs. That's seven creatures. Did I board in the uh, the Brazen Borrower? Let me have a look. Um, yeah, and I also have one Thassa. So that's nine. So nine creatures. And we're milling five. I can't do the math. On to, uh, like, If there are nine creatures, then there should be like almost one in five but not quite all right let's uh let's do it and i will mill five cards and we don't hit anything uh any creature we hit, we hit a ring and some cantrips that would have been nice okay let's see if they have more unholy heat here wow they are also just getting really stuffed on their lands Okay, they found their second land. Is this uh, the thing? 
Merktide. It can be a 6-6 six, six Merktide. Looks like it is. Can shrink my, my Goyf here because there is no creatures. So it's a 5. It's a 4. Mine is a 4-5. Um, oh, that's nice. I think I'm going to send my friend here on an adventure. Let's see if they have the Force of Negation now. If they do, then that's kind of annoying. Okay, wow, they just conceded. Why? What's in their hand? Just like a lot of creatures, maybe? I don't know. Not a single counterspell. Interesting. Well, not going to complain. 2-0, and, oh, and let's go to round number 3. Okay, on the draw once more, and this time we get a hand with no real mana, so I'm going to mulligan. And I'm going to keep opponent mulligan to, mulliganing down to 5. Uh, probably I'll get rid of like Flooded Strand here. Alrighty, they f like the 5. Let's see what kind of deck it is. Hoping no Chalice, hoping no Necrodominance, hoping no Grief Scam. Echoing Depths, Echoing Deeps, right, okay, so this is probably, this is lands, some kind of Merit Lash strategy. Okay, okay. I don't know how good Frog is going to be here, but the thing is, Frog seems to be pretty good against most things. What's this? Elder Spirit Guide. Is this crop rotation? Okay, yeah. I can't daze it. Couldn't daze it anyways, because you have mana floating. Planar Nexus. Okay, so it's like this, um, the new 12 post deck. Don't know that they would play Wasteland, but we have Dark Ritual, so we can kind of afford to play around. Um, okay, let's shuffle these away. I do think Frog is probably not going to be amazing here, because... Like their their mid and end game, their mid and long game is just so much more powerful than mine. But we'll see. They can drop and there's this tower into play. And then it taps for three, right? That's the that's the thing. Yep, so now they have four mana. And they have the one ring. Guess I'll daze that. Hope that their last card isn't another spirit guide. It was not. Okay. Can I get a Doomsday, please? Or a uh, cantrip. Uh, okay, I'll take Force of Will. And I'll play Polluted Delta and f get the Scry. I will, like, counter something with the Frog, like pitching the Frog here if they have another Ring or, like, a Karn or something. Oh, did I speak it into existence? I did. Um, fuck. I think I have to, right? It leaves them just top decking, and me too, but I, I get a surveil. And right now they, they think I'm like just a Demir scam deck or some kind of Demir tempo deck. I think. So I would love to see Doomsday or the One Ring here. Brainstorm, I will take it. I think this deck... Their deck also plays, like, Disrupting Flute. Is that the name of the card? Mm. Oh, gross. I think we put away the Oracle and the Basic Swamp. And then we ponder. And probably we end up shuffling. Yep. And I, of course, get one of the cards I shuffled away, because that's how Magic Online works. I'm just fully... Tinfoil hat about that. I feel like it's very, very obvious, but I could be wrong, of course. Okay. Did they find something? Oh no, get out of here. Oh, Jesus. Wow, ring, ring into Karn. I can't, I can't keep up with that. Okay. What did they reveal? Like, expedition map, maybe? <sighs> I think if I draw Doomsday or a cantrip that finds Doomsday on my next draw step, there's a tiny chance I can I can cobble together a win. But um, I think it's uh, kind of slim. Okay, Walking Ballista, interesting. Is there something I'm not aware of? 
Does this have more text? Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Second days? Third days? Yep. All right. Well, Deck, you have a wonderful sense of humor. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay. So they can make a big, big friend. Can they, they could get to, uh, what's his face? Lattice. And just lattice me out. And I can even, like, even though I have double days, doesn't matter because they have exactly eight mana. GG's. That felt kind of bad. Felt like my deck just wasn't performing. I don't know. If I let that ring resolve and keep my frog, does life get better? I kind of doubt it, but I don't know. Okay, so... Boseju who endures... I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's good. Uh, Shouldred seems good with with Ring. Force of Negations plus Brazen Borrowers also seem kind of good. Uh, Frog seems not that interesting, to be honest. Ring seems like a little bit of a vulnerability w with them being a Karn deck, but maybe on the on the play it's okay. I'll cut a Thassa, cut one of the Cyclers. Um, are, do we care about Stifle? Is Stifle a card that can do things here? I think I'm going to cut the Stifle. I'll cut... Burf. Maybe I'll cut like one, one petal. And maybe I'll... Oops, it cut two petals by mistake. I'll cut Basic Island. We brought in Tropical Island. And maybe a Daze. They have shown me, like, uh, Simeon Spirit Guides. Yeah, let's try this. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Uh, I'll keep. This game could go in different directions, but... What I'm mostly worried about, honestly, is if they go, like... Tur or, I guess I'm mostly worried. Mostly worried about losing, but what I would be most annoyed by on their first turn would be if they go turn one vaccine bobble because I <laughs> do I then counter it I guess I do um, I don't know but they mull to six and let's see I would obviously just love to hit a ritual here And then the question becomes, like, which one of my four drops would I deploy first? Once upon a time, you got it. I don't know, actually, thinking about it now, I'm not even really sure how good this plan is. Like, these, these like, shouldered and stuff. Oh, the Sewing Myco Spawn, that's a really troubling card. That is the one that has, like, a, a cast trigger. Um, that lets them just find a land and put it into play. And then if they kick it they get to like stone rain me okay but it does cost mana though to cast i kind of wish i had wastelands in this like in this matchup uh, anyways let's get the undercity sewers thoughtsies yes please i will take a thoughtsies let's get cracking <laughs> they have two. Get out of here. And they have a Maze of Ith. Interesting. I guess they saw me pitch uh, Psychic Frog. Did they see me do anything else? Probably not, right? So that's actually not going to be the worst for them. Um, okay, so next turn with what they have right now, they can't cast one of these, but uh, they will soon be allowed to. Here's the Planar Nexus. And the next turn they have just a bunch of mana. Um, I think I might just cast the Consider here. Uh, and let's uh, put Daze into the graveyard. We hit a Ritual. Mm, and a ponder. Hmm. Let me just read this again. So next turn, 
They play the tower, they have five mana. They can they need need six to kick this. But then they can cast it and then do I even care about uh do I even care about um like whether or not this like comes into play like I think maybe I need to keep my force ponder just for the next badass thing they can get um, and also like if I play shouldered here I don't, know, I don't think I'm supposed to play shouldered I think I'm supposed to play the one ring and then the one ring between now and next turn will draw me cards that will get me to shouldered or just doomsday Yeah, I think that's the correct play. Like, I was going to say, playing Shoulder right now, they could think about maybe, like, playing Maze of Ith instead. Oh, we find, find Doomsday. That's so good. So, that means next turn, likely, we just get to win. But let's see. We have, we have some pretty... Like, we're in a pretty good spot, but if they find Spirit Guide here, so that they can, like, kick... Microsynth sewing thingy here. Then they can take us off Doomsday. Like next turn anyways. Unless there's a land on top of our deck. I think it would require them drawing a spirit guide. Or having drawn one. They have two unknown cards in hand. There's the tower. Here it comes. It's not kicked. They get to search for a card and just put it onto the battlefield. Untapped. This is really good. I wonder if they do play Wasteland then. I guess you would, right? If you're playing this kind of land tutor effect. Or maybe they just... Yeah, okay, they do play Wasteland. I assume I'm going to get Wastelanded here. Yep. Alright. They still have two unknown cards. I get one from the ring didn't draw land I'm just gonna draw two cards here there is a land I'm not gonna cast doomsday I am just gonna cast ponder here um, so I could just ritual out I could just ritual out shouldered but I'm, I'm almost tempted to not give not give them that information um, yeah, I think I'm just not going to do that, and instead I'm going to just, I'm going to draw Petal here and play it, and then, like, even if they were to kick another Mycosynth thingy, I can still next turn do what I want to do. So... As it stands right now, I'm taking three and then another two from the ring. So I'll be at nine, I'll fetch down eight, and then I'll win. But let's see. We could still be in trouble. There's Maze of Ith. So we knew about that one. So they have three unknowns. It could be a Disruptor Flute. That's probably the most sort of relevant card I could imagine they have here. But we have a Force of Will for that. So hopefully, hopefully they don't have two of those flutes. The Tutti Fruities. But we might even get to... Like, we're going to be putting a couple of ritual that's, that has Threshold on the stack here in, in a moment. So we are going to have, like, a lot of mana. So maybe we could even, like, beat the... Uh, beat the thing. The the flute. Yeah, I think we actually could. It, it adds three mana to Thassa. Okay, Doomsday resolves. My computer is completely lagging out. I can't tell if they've like conceded. Okay, no, they haven't. Okay, so we're we'll, we're going to be drawing three cards. So let's make it uh, Thassa and Edge of Autumn, and uh, I guess um, I guess a land. Let's make it Cavern of Souls. And then I want to hide the Shouldred. And then I guess Street Wraith. 
how does this look? So ring will draw us cavern edge thought, uh, cavern edge Thassa, yeah. And then we'll have shouldered on the bottom and then street wraith on top. So if they have removal for Thassa, we can cycle edge into street wraith, street wraith into into the last card. But we aren't showing them shouldered, and they would also like it would have to be removal that is sort of beats my my force of will in hand. So looking pretty good, but let's see here. I would prefer not to have to use this, the Street Wraith because that will leave me at effectively one from the Force of Will. I can't really work out if, if they're able to do something that um, deals me damage here. Okay, so let's just Cavern on Merfolk. And uh, play out this Thassa. They have some split second removal here, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, does being on the draw change anything for us here? Maybe I wanna reconsider this whole boarding out basic island. I thought they were not a wasteland deck. Um, I guess I will board out one additional days. I really I need to familiarize myself with with these new post decks. Like I don't know. First of all, I haven't seen Cloud Post. So I don't know if this deck runs Cloud Post, but I kind of assume it does. But them having like a wasteland and the whole sewing micro thingy makes me kind of think they maybe don't have like a really big like late game. But look at this. Turn one shoulder it. Where do I sign up? They mulligan down to five. Okay. So I would really love, just absolutely adore it if they, like, um, if they don't run removal, right? Also, if they don't like play some lock piece on turn one, they can play vaccine bottle. That's fine. Found five. There's a glimmer post. Okay, so it is post. Posty post post. There's Vexing Bobble, okay. And pass. I would if I find a, like another dark ritual here. Oh I can I find Doomsday. Oh no, what do I do? <laughs> um Is there a world where I don't play Doomsday? Yeah, for science. I wanna see how good children is here, and I I'm also just kind of concerned about Resolving Doomsday with this little mana against the Wasteland deck that is also a Bobble deck that is probably also a Disruptor Flute deck. So I would actually rather do this. Maybe I'm supposed to go for Basic Swamp uh, because they play Wasteland, but um, because Undercity Sewers doesn't enter play untapped. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I think it's okay doing it this way around, risking the Wasteland. Well, they might just be able to go over the top here, but we'll see. Dark Ritual. Okay, my deck is just really being friendly. Overly friendly, if you ask me. So the question is, do I Doomsday right now, or do I Thoughtseize instead? If I Doomsday... No, I think I am going to Thoughtseize. I'm going to Thoughtseize. And then that will inform my surveil thing. Oh, look at that. There's the flute. So the one ring, the one ring protection thing doesn't protect against Shouldred. So they would, I'm going to attack now. They'll be at 14. No, sorry, 15. Then they take two from their draw step. They're at 13. Then ring, they draw one. They're at 11. Then I don't get to attack. Then they untap. They're at 10. And if they tap, they take four. And then they're practically dead. I think I take the flute here. And um, that way I can cast Doomsday next turn and not be too worried. I would love to find... Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do with this. The One Ring. Is that better than casting Doomsday? Probably is not... Let's put it into the graveyard. Okay. 
you take two, you play your cradle that we didn't know about. Probably ring, yep. Yeah. There is ring. You're indestructible. Or whatever. You don't draw. I draw Force of Will, which effectively right now is textless. Um, so I think I just, I doomsday, right? That has to be the correct play. Oops, hang on. Um, but now we have to contend with them having, like, they, they could get a Wasteland. They can, um, can they play this with Kicker next turn? How much mana do they have? They have one, two, three, four. So they can't kick this, but they can find a Wasteland. Um, if they find a Flute, that's a little bit annoying. Hopefully the, the game will just be over by then. But let's, just to be safe, we will... Um, We'll put a delta, sorry, a land into play. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take island and a fetch land. Uh, I guess Misty is fine. I'm gonna take Thassa's Oracle. I'm gonna actually take a Dark Ritual and a Doomsday, just in case they end up like being able to get a flute into play. Then I think like we can just loop Doomsday and with Shuldred they'll die. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if they, if they, okay. So if they find another land here with the one ring, then they can kick the Myco thingy. And if they do, they can take out both my lands. In which case, I can't cast a Dark Ritual. So I think maybe I'm, I'm actually supposed to take the Underground Sea instead. Okay, let's try it like this. Okay, we'll put Underground Sea on the bottom, then Doomsday, Dark Ritual, Thassa, and Misty Rainforest. And we'll pass. They have protection, so we can't we can't attack them. They didn't draw. So not taking any damage right now. They take two from Shuldred. Now they draw, they take two more. Now they have a planar nexus. So cloud post taps for three. So they get to kick the sewing myco spawn. I hope that's all they're doing. Yep. Okay, so they get to take out both my lands. And then they have to pass. They have one card in hand. I attack them. They have to block. Then they untap. They take one from the ring. They're at six because they also took two from Shuldred. Then if they draw two, they'll be at they'll be at two and dead to the next draw step. So hopefully, let's see here. We'll see. Yep, yep, yep. Destroy all my lands. Have a party. And if they ever decide to cash in their own bobble, that's also two damage. Plus that frees up force of will. Okay, I think I'm just gonna not play out my Mystery Rainforest in case they have something. I guess like Disruptor Flute. How does that work? That says activated ability, right? Choose a card name. Spell activate abilities. Okay, I think maybe I do need to uh, turn off auto yields. I do need to play out the, the Misty. Though, are they gonna see my hand? They probably play. Um, Thought not seer, right? I don't know. I've not seen Eldrazi Temple or anything else. Fuck it. Let's, uh... Let, they would need to, to, like, run or run or wasteland to punish this. And they still have to also just not die to Shieldred. So they're at six. If they tap the ring now, or I guess if they don't, they have to end... Like, they have to remove Shieldred now. If they can do that, then I'm just, I'm gone. I have no, nothing uh, left. I can't cast Thassa anymore. And I can't uh, remove, remove anything here. Oh, now I can. Now I can Force of Will. They draw. They take two. They're at four. I can no longer draw with the ring. So that was interesting. 
If they have something that exiles or bounces on cast, then I'm I'm in trouble. Elvish Spirit Guide. Um Force of Will. I mean I could let this resolve and that buys them one more turn, but I think I'd rather try and finish the game here. Desperate times when they when they try to resolve like hard cast spirit guide. Alright, cool. Um they've conceded. And we are three and oh. That was uh that was interesting. Alright, yeah, put in this GG's. I'll GG back. Alright. I'll be back with round number four. Alright, on the play for round number four. Finally on the play. Um Yeah. Yeah. I'm down with this. I'm going to keep... I'm going to play uh, Undersea Sewers Tapped, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'd rather, if this was an Underground Sea, I'd just play Misty Rainforest and play around Wasteland for my turn to the One Ring. But this is it. We get a Surveil. That's also not, not the worst. Uh, yeah, and I'll take the Lotus Petal. And that actually lets me beat the pe uh, the, the Wasteland here. I put a mulligan to six, by the way. There were once upon a time. By the way, the reason these images are back, like not being there, is because I'm recording these final two matches the day after I recorded the first three. And I don't know, it's something about the Wi-Fi here at my at my um, vacation home. It just means that Magic Online is like a million a million years uh, to to like res like upload these these images for some reason but here we go okay and I'm not gonna play the pedal I don't think to play around like mana tithe or something uh on the other hand I mean I might just want it anyways like to hail Mary something like the consider but probably not we already have the force so let's just go for the one ring here and um I'm going to draw a card right away. Ugh, that's not, not so great. All right, I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to play out the pedal. Like, if I draw a Brainstorm or something, I might want to Brainstorm the pedal back. Although, pedal is pretty nice. What is this? Talon Gates of Madara. Oh, it's a land that you can flash in. Um, do I care about this? So this is going to name Doomsday, I'm pretty sure. I think I actually do care about this. And why is this done with this on the stack? Up to one target creature phases in. Okay, whatever. I am actually going to force here. So this is another Tron Post deck. Alright, we hit a Brainstorm. I'm going to draw. I'm going to cast the Brainstorm. Let's see if we can spike Doomsday. No Doomsday. I'm going to put away the Petal and one of these rings. And I know this stifle, this stifle might end up doing something here. I'm going to ponder. I expect to, to shuffle unless I find a fetch land. Oh, I do find a fetch land. Okay. In which case I will. Oh, okay. My opponent just conceded. I, I don't know why. Yeah, like, but the, the client started to lag out. And that usually happens when an opponent concedes, but I just, that's a pretty rash concede here. Okay. So they know we're a Doomsday deck. We, we showed them Dark Ritual, Petal, and Consider. Um, I'm, at, I'm at least going to work from that uh, that assumption. Um, I think Boseju and Trop. I, 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 I don't know, like, but Boseju being able to kill the Flute is, is not, not bad. I guess Brazen Borrower is also decent. And if it, they're like the other opponent we faced, where they're like uh, the One Ring deck as well. Maybe Shulred could do something. I actually, yeah, like I said, I'm playing this on the, the day after. I kind of forgot if the round three opponent that I just played also had the one ring. They had, yeah, they had the one ring in Karn, right? Um, well, who knows if, if this opponent has that, but... Okay. How about this to bring in? And we can cut one of the cyclers. And... I don't know. Does Stifle have enough text here? I might just cut the Stifle in one Oracle. And 
like a daze. Oh yeah, hang on. Should I be bringing forces of negation? Hmm. Like, countering Karn and, and Ring seems pretty nice. I'll board out three dazes, and I'll board in one force of negation. Maybe two. And then cut, like, I don't know. Boarding in two lands here is kind of a lot. I'll board out one underground sea. So I, I've kept in all my fast-moving pieces. Um, I think what they, they can interact with is a flash with with the flute. But anything other than flute, I don't think I don't think they would have like endurance or anything. Okay, this is hand this hand's like one land away from being like swap any of these cards with a land and I would just be salivating, but I think I have to mulligan here. We could try and see if we like if we just top deck a land. No, but then we still like we're not casting the ring, so I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, and I'll keep this. And I'll bottom Street Wraith probably. Opponent found six they liked. This lets us turn one frog, which if all things being equal, I am happy to I'm just happy to make that play. Planar Nexus. So next turn they'll have four mana if they have a nurse's tower. Um Yeah, let's just get do I play around Wasteland here? No, I don't think so. We're going to have the frog. If they want to spend spend turns Wastelanding us, then presumably that those are turns they're not deploying blockers or like removing frog. There's once upon a time, not going to force of negation that. They find a cloud post. Okay. So... A cloud post would enter play tapped and then untap and tap for two minutes. Wow, okay, tabernacle. Yikes. Well, I guess I'm paying. But uh, I was not expecting that. Okay. Would really like to hit a land here with the frog. I don't. Okay, just have to pass. Like, if they, if they can get a wasteland here, then I'm just in all kinds of trouble. There's Urza's tower. They were just passing. Okay. Um, I will pay. I think maybe it's also time that I start, like, dealing some damage here. How much mana do they have? They have four right now, right? Um, okay, I will I will attack with frog, and I'll discard one card up ahead, because if I don't hit a land here, I'm, I'm going to be moving to discard anyways. So probably I'll discard the Cabal Ritual. I'm not sure if I should be more aggressive with this. Okay, so they're... Okay. They're putting this into play. This phases out my creature. Congratulations. Does this tap for mana? I guess it does, sure. Karn. Going to force of negation him. I'm gonna pick up, like, uh, kill the days here. Uh oh. <laughs> An Elder Spirit Guide, sure. I wonder if you're going to pay for that. So let's pay for our frog. And. Oh, Petal, I'll take it. It's not a, a land, but it's mana. And I will exile three cards here. Um and give my frog flying and I'll attack wonder if I'm supposed to start discarding more aggressively I think I will I'll discard the predict another dark ritual I think I'm gonna fire off a brainstorm and just pray to the gods I don't get brainstorm locked okay I didn't instead I got paid off Oh, this is tricky. Like, if I were to hold off for this for one more turn, I could um, also I could I could thought seize them as well. I'm a little bit concerned about what they might have, but on the other hand, they they haven't been doing anything. I think I am just going to put back the thought seize and the edge of autumn. Now, also ideally, I would like to get basic swamp here, but I can't. So, just going to get another underground sea. 
gonna double ritual out this ring and uh, draw a card. It's a ponder. Okay. So now they have to they have to pay for their uh, spirit Guido, which they do tapping the tabernacle. Like if they have another bomb here, it's kind of bad. Vexing bauble. Uh, I can live with that, I guess. They use it to draw a card immediately. Okay. So now I'm back to like really hoping to just get uh, a force of will. I think they have four mana. Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was like Karn. Karn is like probably the most scary card right now they could have. Another cloud post. Okay, so they're getting into big mana territory here. They attack, but I have protection. So now I don't have to exile cards from my graveyard to give frog flying. Okay. I take one from the ring, I pay for my frog. I feel like if I could find Force of Will here, I'm going to be very happy. Uh, Brazen Borrower in a land, that's also pretty nice. Um, Alright, let's attack with frog. Uh, and I think I'm going to discard ring from hand. We hit another land, but I already made my land drop here, yeah, okay. I am just going to pass here, and, like if they cast Karn next turn, I want to be able to Petty Theft it uh, at EOT rather than cast Ponder here. So let's see here, next turn I'm going to have four and then like seven cards total. They have the one ring, okay. That's nice for them, not so nice for me. Okay, they draw a card immediately. Makes sense. Now they get to beat me down to 15. And also, like, their cloud post makes just a lot of mana now. So I'll be at 15, then I'll be at 13 from my ring. I'll pay for frog. Um, Shouldered, hey, that's nice. Let's draw three. Yeah, Shouldered. Big mama son. So, question is, should I cast a ponder to look for force of will? I think I should. And there it is. There's also Thoughtseize. Oh, that's actually also nice. But I will be fetching here, I think. Uh, oh, no, I don't have to. I can just uh, tap the delta for green. Okay. Shouldered's in. I have lots of lands to pay for Tabernacle. They're going to be starting to take damage now, especially if they want to keep drawing cards with the ring. Which they probably have to because they're losing on the board here. Okay, they choose not to pay for their Spirit Guide. That's that's interesting. She could have like soaked up a Shouldered, a shouldered attack. It all, all depends on what they have in hand. Plus these two cards. They're at five. Like if they have an Eldrazi that lets them... Sure, I, I'm not going to force this. If they have an Eldrazi that lets them like exile something on, on cast, then it's good for them. Okay, they take two more drawing with Desperado draw. So they have like a lot of mana though. That's the concern here. Five cards in hand, and uh, is this something? No. So like the the cloud posts have for three each. So does the resist tower. So that's like nine, ten from the Yavamaya, and eleven from Planar Nexus. So they have eleven mana. There's a glimmer post that gains them some life, but hardly enough. 8 mana, 9 mana, 10 mana, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana, oh no. 15 mana, is this Emrakul? Wow! Oh my goodness! Alright, let's just see here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 permanents. I can keep Frog and Shouldered and keep get Frog flying to block. 
Um, this might just be enough, though, but let's see. Okay, you get the Emerald Coal. Also, if I do that, then I can't keep Emerald Coal, or rather, um, I can't keep Shouldered around once I get my turn. It's okay, so they take two here. They're at five. They take two more from drawing. Yeah, I think this just about does it for them, right? They, and they, you don't have... To, oh, no, you do, right? It doesn't have Indestructible. Okay, so they, they're at three. Wow. Another big spell. Ivugan activation. Right, sure. Get the Sewing uh, Myco spawn, and they can kick it, so... They can exile one of my lands. Yeah, yeah, they got this. Wow, interesting game though. All right, gonna concede. Yeah, the problem is like even if they did, hadn't done that, they attack us. I have to exile six things, and then I have to. One, none of them can be the frog, and the frog is then going to die. So I would be left with um, like Shouldred and nothing else, and then Shouldred dies to the uh, Urza Saga. Or the tabernacle. All right, cool, cool. One one. Uh, do I ch anything change here? Probably not. I still think like if I can resolve turn one shouldered or turn two shouldered, that's really good. And but I'd much rather just like win with with doomsday. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, how about a good one here? Hmm. I'll keep. I'm not in love here because I don't have any action and my my only cantrip is kind of a bad one. Uh, I am going to consider right now, if I hit Doomsday, I'm just going to cast it. I'll take a the one ring, I think. Yeah. Okay. And I'll pass. Play out my pedal here in case in case they have a bobble. And if they do have Bobble here, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to cast Force of Negation, but probably, because, like, I think one of my game plans is going to be, if the game goes a bit long, is to find uh, more forces. Yeah, I am going to force this. I'll lose the Predict, it sucks, but um, I think this might be worth worth it for me. Force of Vigor, my petal. Okay. That means I need to draw a land to cast the ring. I don't. Let's cycle Street Wraith. There's a Shouldred. Okay, I'll pass. That was pretty aggressive, but it, it worked out for them there. I mean, I needed that petal. Okay, they have two mana here. How about a land? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to cast Dark Ritual here. And if they have a flute, let's see if they flash it in to name Doomsday in response. Oh no. Yeah, there's Doomsday. I, I am going to, I'm going to like prioritize Shouldered over, over Ring here. Even though Ring sort of is what lets us like, get nuts here, but Shouldered is also just like a really fast clock. So let's hope that they are unable to beat her. Mostly concerned about big mana lands here. Okay, so they phase out my Shouldered. And then they have two mana for what? Crop rotation, okay. So now they, they are edging towards fast mana. Yep, now they have four mana. So they could cast like a Karn or a Ring. Five mana. So maybe a Myco thingy? Yep. There's a Caracas. Oh, wow, well played. Yeah, of course you have Caracas in the deck. I think I even saw that in game one. Okay, I think I might have just lost now. They should bounce before I am allowed to draw. Yep, makes sense. Oh, no. Mm. 
I think I'm just going to fire off the thoughtsies right now. Yeah, glad I did. Get rid, get away from me, Karn. Okay, now I think I need to like hit a ritual to get the ring going, or find a frog, or my opponent just gets to fire off another one of these. Oh crap! Okay, I'm gonna cycle in response here, and I can be left here sitting. Wondering what could have been if I had cast, uh, prioritized the, um, the one ring instead. But I didn't, and now they have Ive Ugin. I think they're still maybe a little bit of ways away from activating it, but um, not much. Alright, let's get a an Under City Sewers and see if we can somehow dig out of this. I mean, I'm not sure what my what my plan is here. I'm taking six a turn. I need the land, but I also am I'm just sort of dead. All right, I'm going to take the land, and the flute has me locked out. So I think right now maybe I can hope to, like, draw Dark Ritual and then get, like, cast the ring and then somehow somehow dig out from there, but it's not looking good. Yeah, I think Dark Ritual is my best draw here, and then, like, maybe Frog would be also pretty good. Okay, I guess I'll take a Brainstorm. Okay, let's get rid of uh, Force of Will and Shieldred. Now, keeping hold of the Force might seem like a good thing, but I think there's also just a world where like, we want the second ring to be able to buy another turn of invulnerability. Oh no, what's this? They did have enough mana. I guess I should have just counted. Alright, cool. They have seven mana, so what are they, are they getting? Another sewing uh, Myco thingy, so they can kill one of my lands. That's also really good. Draw a card. It's Doomsday, which I currently can't cast. It's going to require a lot more mana. They have a ring... You have a ring, sure. So now they can't they can't kick the myco thing, at least, I don't think. They can get like a wasteland if they want. Take me off one of my lands. I think that's probably Oh, was this kicked? Can I just not count? It's kicked for Oh, it's because uh this makes it cost less, of course. Yeah, yeah. And they got another cloud post. So next turn they can, like, uh, probably get what Emrakul? There's Shieldred again. Yeah, GG's. GG's opponent. Alright, let's uh, play the final round. Okay, on the draw for the final round, I got a pretty nice hand here. I'm going to keep we can like turn one ponder off of basic island and then potentially go turn two predict. Opponent mullions to six. Okay, opponent found six they liked. Let's have a look. Basic island, ponder, okay. Maybe like a blue matchup. Well, I mean obviously a blue matchup. Maybe like a like a fair blue control matchup, who knows? Opponent liked what they saw, didn't shuffle, and here we go. Thoughts Oracle, not, not exactly what you want to see there. Okay, let's get a Snow Covered Island and cast Ponder. Whoa, Yowzes. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's put Doomsday on top and then draw a Dark Ritual. I think it's more likely our opponent can see our hand that play Mistress Bobble. Also, like if opponent just goes like two lands go or something. I might just want to, like, cast uh, Predict instead. Cabal Therapy, sure. So this is probably Cephalid Breakfast. They name Force of Will, okay. Love for them to tap out, but they're not going to do that, having seen the days. So I draw Doomsday here, 
And I don't think I'm going to go for it, because, like, if they have Force of Will. So what I think I will do is cast my Predict on their upkeep. Not casting it now, because I would have to go to discard. If it is Breakfast, then they're also a Daze deck, but I don't think they play the full four. If they have Bowmasters, I can Daze it. So, Okay, Dark Ritual. I kind of wish they just pass right now. Cephalid Illusionist. Hmm. So, like, if they if they have um, if they have the Nomads, no. If, like, if they want to flashback Cephalid, that's probably fine. The only concern would be if they if they name Days, which I now happen to have a second copy of. Okay, but no, they're just passing. Okay, let's, um, that was good, good draw here. So, is there a way I win if they just have nothing? Well, let's, let's go ahead and try. I made my land drop. All right, let's cast Doomsday. So that just happened. I think, honestly, like, just putting Force of Will on top right now seems decent. I could also put, like, a Thoughtseize and then, like, ponder into the Thoughtseize and with my floating mana. But then what happens if they have, like, double Nomad? I guess they can only cast one right now with the mana they have. Um... Okay, let's just uh, let's just do this. So we will ponder into the force, and then we will pass. We will have stifle double days plus force up, and then we draw. We just cycle through the pile. So we give up on the thoughtsies. I think that's okay. Thoughts on the bottom, then the three cyclers, and um, we we cast the force, or rather, we cast the uh, the ponder, draw the force, and we pass. So also a world where I stifle this flooded strand. I think I do actually. That just makes my dazes a lot better. Keeps them off white mana. So if they play Nomads here, I think we have to force it, basically. Yeah, let's force it. And then, like, if they have force blue card, we're just dead. Narc Amoeba. Okay. You can Narc Amoeba. And you can Cabal Therapy named Days. You can just take both my Dazes and then I, I on top and win. Sure. Wonder if they even name days, because it kind of doesn't do anything. They, there's nothing they can do with one card in hand. Okay, never mind. Okay, and now with my double days <laughs> protection, it's uh, inconsequential what they might have. Um, this is nice. I'm really happy to win the first game here. I, for some reason, like I really dislike playing against Cephala Breakfast. I always have a tough time, and I don't know that I have anything resembling a positive record. Like, maybe if, if I'm lucky, it's like around the 50-50. Um, so, we can remain on the Doomsday Plan, like, and be bullish about it. We can try and lean into creatures. They likely have white removal. They have to respect stuff like Shouldred. Um, Graf Digger's Cage is decent, I think, but not spe like unspectacular. Um, the Harvester of Misery is okay. They probably have Bowmasters. Do I want Barrowgoyf? Probably not. It's just a little bit too much of a dumb beater, like Shouldered at least, like 
taxes them and psychic frog um, draws cards okay so let's see that was seven cards that's a lot let's see how much we want to bring out I think we want to bring out the fast like win without protection kind of stuff um, at least one cycler but maybe two cyclers can come out it's five cards I don't hate losing like a petal and a daze probably on the draw yeah so let's try this there's a lot of ways that this can this, this can evolve like you can get a hand that's like fast combo you can also get a hand that's like like good on creatures but then if they have like an Urza Saga do nothing but make constructs like double saga start would be pretty pretty annoying also I didn't see green so I'm not sure if they are a Nadu deck okay this this hand is fine I'm gonna keep it's not it's like it's not one of those that you're particularly particularly happy with but it's also not one you can really mulligan I don't think all right playing around stifle or pasta oh it is green right okay uh oh this could be turn two Nadu, turn three, like go crazy. Um, shuffle. This is just more of what I already have. Love. Well, I I, I say I, I would love Force of Will, but now they have the Delighted Halfling. Um, probably not. Oh, there is a Saga. Do you have the Nadu? Oh no, you do. Wow, that's really good. Yep, you have a Nadu winged. Watch him a jigger. Okay, we have a Harvester of Misery. That's not nothing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play out the frog here. The frog means Nadu can't really attack. And then we have a stifle for their Urza Saga search trigger. Uh, one turn from now which is going to be handy because we need them to not be able to find Shuko. This is Teferi. Oh, that's so brutal. Wow, that halfling, man. Okay, sure. Are they going to bounce their own Nadu? No, no, bounce my frog. Fair enough. And I can't stifle no more because of Teferi. So what's my hope here? Doomsday? Shouldred. Yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, Nadu doesn't draw cards. And they're just going to, like, next turn they can draw. Is it really? I have to read the. It's land put in back, otherwise put it in your hand. Okay. So they can draw six cards right now, as things stand right now. And if they ever hit, like, if they're able to put another creature into play, that's two more. So I am going to pack it in. Wow. Delighted Halfling into Nadu. That's nice. Okay, and now what's going to happen is I'm going to make a correction on the sideboarding. I'm going to board out one of my Graft Diggers cages for something else, and they're immediately probably going to <laughs> like be on the fast combo plan. But, yeah, so it is. Probably the fourth days, and I just hope to have like a fast, a fast, like turn one, turn two, do great stuff kind of thing. This is not that, but it's also, like, if Ponder finds me Doomsday, Shoulder It, or, or the One Ring, I'm really excited. So, let's try this. Hit action. Is Frog enough action? Like, if they have another Halfling into just do everything, it's it's very bad. But I think I will take this, because it's both, like, we, we find, the, we get the land that we that we need. And then we, we get a, a relevant sort of card. So I would much prefer anything but, but Halfling here. Oh, it looks like it's going to be the Halfling. And my forces are just looking terrible now. Ah, oh, gross. I will let them give them the opportunity to, to daze me here. I don't think they will. Nope. Okay, so I hope it's not Teferi. They just they just have the full like like last game like Urza Saga into Nadu and then Yolo. 
No, it's basic planes. That's not Saga, at least. This, this is Lavinia. Oh, look at me with my Lotus Petal. I can't counter it, so. That's terrible. Okay, you can ponder. This is actually a huge beating. I can't, like, I can't Dark Ritual out anything right now. If I hit a land, I can Dark Ritual out Doomsday. They like what they saw. Okay. Ponder is good. It's a good draw. And there's a Shieldred. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to draw Shieldred. No, I'm going to draw uh, Snow-Covered Swamp. I'm going to put Vert and Catacombs on top, and then I'm going to predict it away. Uh, I'm going to do it before I draw with the frog. Vertent. Okay, Catacombs. Oh, the ring. Okay, I'm going to attack with frog. I would gladly uh, have them block with the with Lavinia. I get to draw a card. It's a brainstorm. Okay. There is the saga. The question is, do they have Nadu? They're pondering. That's at least something. They shuffle. Oh, I like that. But they have to ferry. Okay. Gross. I think you bounced my frog here, right? A land, please? Yes, okay. So, I think here I... Okay, so I have access to six mana. So I could cast Shouldred plus frog. I think I'm going to do that. And maybe I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, I'm definitely supposed to just play out the, the frog. That was lame. So now if they have a force of will, they know something else is coming. Yeah. Terrible play. Um, God, I don't know what I was thinking. What what on earth do I cast the ritual there? Yeah, they have the force. I'm sad. They get to surveil. That's nice. They put Oracle into the graveyard. Okay. So now they're just a cephalid illusionist away from victory. That Lavinia can eat my ass. Sorry, that was a very rude thing to say. Uh, but yeah, she's just all the difference maker in the world right now. So I need to find, like, uh, if I can find Harvester of Misery, that would be amazing. Um, okay, I think I'm going to probably lead off with killing Teferi. He needs to die, so I'm gonna I'm gonna discard a uh, Lotus Petal so to make Frog a two three. Then I'm gonna give Frog flying. Uh, let's put Shouldred. Actually, let's yeah Shouldred and some lands. I don't think they would have reanimate, but you never know. In these trying times. Okay. And Frog also draws a card if it deals damage to a Planeswalker, so that's nice. Teferi's gone. I draw a card. It's a useless daze because of Lavinia. All right, I hope they don't have a daze. They're paying costs. Wow, Mystical Dispute. Cool. Okay, there we go. I am up the creek here. They decide to make a token rather than tap like float mana. Another halfling. Okay, sure. So they have a bit of a force here. They can attack for five right now. And then next turn they can attack for five, six, seven, eight. Which is not lethal. And I can make my frog into a true. How many? They don't have lifelink, do they? Ooh, Shieldred. Big, big game. Okay, I'm going to exile some cards here. And I think I'm just going to start, like, pumping my, my frog. The Force of Wills are not doing anything anyways. So I'm going to attack. Okay, I'm going to 
discard force of will. I'm going to discard force of will. And I'm going to discard days. So this now it's a 5 6 that would be a 12 then 10 from the shouldered. Or they could be a 9 if I discard ponder and then next turn I'm attacking for 6 in the air, 7 in the air. I am going to discard the ponder too. I want the brainstorm cuz that can like that's like healing like uh not healing self, double healing self I guess, it like gain 6 next turn if shouldered resolves. I get to draw I guess I should have resolved Shouldred before. Oh, bummer. I still think, think resolving Shouldred uh, over casting a Grafter's Cage is worth it. Um, this one draw step they have to hit Cephal Illusionist versus stabilizing and probably winning in like one turn. Okay, just nothing insane, please. Ponder, yes, okay. That'll at least cost you two life. Also kind of scary. No, I was going to say they used their their white mana, but they didn't. They have a planes. Okay, they shuffle. Just no illusionist, please. No illusionist, please. No illusionist. Looks like Plow right now also does it. Oh, yes! All right, cool, cool, cool. They conceded. Wow, close one. That was a really cool game. Um, okay, well, I have to say... I really enjoyed this list. I really enjoyed this list. I really enjoyed having the One Ring, having Frogs. I think Stifle is probably the first card I'm glancing at in terms of like maybe replacing. Um, I, I kind of wouldn't mind having a second thought season. I think maybe the Stifle, like at least right now, I think if if we end up in a situation where a lot of the, the surgical tools that people bring in versus tubes, they involve triggered abilities, like, um, or activated, I suppose. Like, there was a time when Lands was playing, like, Thran Foundry in the sideboard to bring in versus Doomsday, and there were a time, there was a time when there were a lot more endurances. Then I think having the one surgical tool stifle to put in your pile becomes a lot more interesting. But, um, but having it as a one of, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think when when Wonderproof built this list with like sti two stif three stifles, two wastelands, and two bowmasters, having like a little bit of wasteland stifle to prop up your dazes is is very interesting. And I just, I'm not sure about the one. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, bummed that I couldn't trophy, but but I'm pretty pleased with how the the league went. Um, Okay, I think that's probably going to be it for me today. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and please remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube uh, regular stuff. It really, it actually really helps, uh, makes a big difference for me. So thanks for that, and I will be back with some more Legacy.